Okay, let's talk about making a good fried egg. This is pretty much everything you're going to need. You will definitely need some eggs. Uh, you want some butter, something similar, uh, a frying pan and a lid. Uh, I really like a clear lid. I highly recommend clear lid and some salt and pepper. Okay, that's about it. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is we're gonna break the eggs, um, put them in this bowl. This helps us make sure we don't have any shells or anything like that in there. So I'm just gonna tap the egg. I like to tap and kind of rotate as I tap on the counter and it kind of opens up a crack and then I just sort of open it like jaws. And you can see the egg almost goes back together if you get it right. Let's do another one here and tapping and kind of rotating. And then it does lead to a little bit of egg yolk getting on the counter, but it's better than using the side of the bowl because using the side of the bowl can get eggshells in there and we don't want it. And uh, so yeah, this way, I could see if there's, if there's any eggshells, I can get them out before it gets into the, the pan and into your mouth or something disgusting like that. Okay, and at this point, um, to save time, you'll see once we get cooking, it's pretty quick. I just sprinkle a little bit of salt on there so I don't have to worry about it later. It's a little bit of salt, a pinch. Okay, and then we'll move to the frying pan. All right, we've got the pan on the stove. You can see our eggs are waiting there. And the first thing I'm gonna do is Turn this burner on to medium high. And notice I'm leaving the lid on on purpose. I want the pan to get good and hot and the lid, because the lid is gonna reflect heat back down onto the eggs and that's what we really want. And then I'm just gonna let this go for a couple of minutes. I could have done this while I was cracking the eggs and normally I would do that, but um, let's just let this go for a couple minutes and I'll see you back here in a second. Okay, it's about two minutes later and I'm I can feel that it's really hot, but I'm gonna use my trusty uh, laser thermometer here to, uh, yeah, I got 368 or 370. That's really what you want, about 375, 400, not too much more, um, but nice and hot. Okay, I'm take the lid off, take my stick of butter, which just sort of has the end cut off, right? And I want a decent amount of butter. I know this is a non-stick pan, but Eggs will stick to non-stick. So just put it, coat it with butter. And then, uh, I forgot to talk about this before. The spatula is super important at this stage. I'm just, and now the butter, as soon as I get it in there, the eggs go in and you want them to start doing that. Now, immediately, I'm gonna break the yolk a bit. I'm gonna just move it around, kind of spread it away from the yolks, right? And then what I'm trying to do is get the whites to be as thin as possible. There's kind of a, a thicker part of the white that you want to make sure to break. Just get that spread out. And then now quickly a little pepper on there and then get the lid on. It shouldn't take long from this point. This is why I really like the clear lid too. So we can see what's happening with the eggs. Well, it's a little foggy, but at least you can see. Um, and then just kind of leave it alone. It should be bubbling and uh, getting nice and brown on the edges. One of my tricks as it starts to cook is I'll tip the pan and then that lets a little steam run off the lid onto the, the frying pan. And that steam helps cook the tops of the yolks. So we really just, what I want anyways, I want no runny whites, but I want my yolks as liquid as possible. So see what I'm doing now is I'm wiggling the pan to see if there's any wiggling happening around the yolks. Okay, and they're pretty much done here. And uh, got my pan. See, get them right off of there onto the plate. And there you go. Got it. You can see from when I wiggle this, the yolks are pretty much liquid, whites are solid, and uh, it's ready to go. Then I'm gonna eat it. 